Hello guys, it's uh, Pancake Pokemon here, and welcome to another Pokemon Obsidian. So, I did actually wait until um, afternoon, I guess, not morning, to record the second episode. And there are actually people, but I can't go back to that city because we jumped a ledge and we can't really go over it. So, sadly, I can't talk to the people in my starting city, but at least we know that at night they all disappear magically. So... Um, welcome to the second episode of Pokemon Obsidian. I know the last episode's audio was absolutely horrible. Uh, you couldn't hear me that well, and my microphone was really bad. It's still the same thing right now, but I moved it closer to myself, and just I tried to change a bit, a few things. So you should hear me well, I guess. Um, I don't know. So let's go talk to this dude. I fed a wild Pachina one day, and it's been my friend ever since. See, I want to talk to people, because I can do voices. Do do do. Nope, never mind, we've already been here. Okay, let's go to wherever we're supposed to go. I'm guessing it's down here. There's a green building. Oh, who are you? Tervorot owns some land on the other side of that cave by his house. I believe that there's a small path that you can take to get across the mountains. But there's a body of water in the way. I ain't even know. Whose house is this? I'm guessing it's the guy's house. Whoa, it opens and stuff. Oh, wait, what? Oh, this is the lab. I thought the other building was... I'm stupid. Never mind. About time you showed up. I, I forgot what sound I made for him. Eh, whatever. About time you showed up. Oh, okay. Well, 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 Pancake, I was beginning to worry that a wild Mytena has gotten a hold of you or something. <laughs> well, I'm going to have your father and Phil look over some of my research before you guys head out. I'm going to have you to come with me and gather up the Pokemon outside. So yeah, come with me in the grove on the other side of the mountain pass. Bye-bye, Professor Tamarack. About time you saw it. Okay, got it. There's data and information that Tamarack has a buff. Wait, 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 okay. What sound did I make for him? I forgot, because it's been, like, a few hours since I recorded. Because, yeah. Okay, let's do this sound. This data and information that Tim Rex has on fossils and such is quite interesting. <laughs> okay. I believe it was that sound. Go meet Professor Tamaru. Tamaraki Ru. The Pokemon in here will capture the men in our region recently. I've been having a time to train them. <laughs> so I'll link them to them. Well, they will just run the way you want. Father and Phil is team the tool that you didn't choose. Oh, so we get to choose our starter? Where are they? Oh. I guess that's a Pokemon? Let's go see what it is. Okay, so there's two Pokemon. And Whoa, that looks so cool. Whoa, his cry is like, Pew! it's like a bird chirp. I'll just tell you what it is. Okay, that kind of sounds like... I don't remember, but... It's, again, it's nothing new. Okay, that guy looks derpy. We won't be choosing him. Because I don't like grass starters. I don't know why. My favorite one is Turtwig, though. He has the Chimchar cry. Uh... Okay, a fire wolf. A derpy thing. And an awesome-looking tadpole thing. Yeah, I'm choosing this guy. Look at him, he's so cute and cool at the same time. I want the water dude. What's his name though? I don't know. Okay. Have you decided which one you'll take? Uh, water. Are you sure? You want Darpole, the water Pokemon? Yeah, see, I know it's a tadpole. Darpole is like Darpole, yeah. Well, yes, I do. Your father and Phil both received the Pokemon. Now it's your turn, Pancake. I present you with the very first Pokemon. Darpole. Yes, we will be giving a nickname to every single Pokemon on this Let's Play, so you guys are happy. And, you know what? I'll just name him. Wait, no. What did I click? Oh, oh, F5. Never mind. Um, we'll name him... I want to name him Durpole, but, like, it's not... I don't know. Wait. Durpole. Yeah, it looks pretty good. Alright, Durpole. I expect you to treat this Pokemon with high respect and care. Okay, guys, it's Lance Lurnia, blooming lots of wild facts and fossils. 
<laughs> what was that? Okay. I shall save. Indeed, I shall. And I actually want to go and look at our dirt pole. So, oh, cool. This screen looks kind of cool. Summary. Careful nature. I'm not sure what that is. I remember the other ones, but I'm not. I don't know. Oh, this kind of looks cool. Mm -hmm. He is level 5, yeah. Tackle and tail whip. Um, and he has torrent. Whoa, I can hear his cry if I press up or down. That's cool. Uh, he does have tackle and... I guess tail whip is better than growl because it actually lowers opponent's defense instead of attack. So, I mean, like, every time that I get a Pokemon, I'd rather get... I'd rather his second ability be one that decreases the... Um, uh, defense rather than attack. So, uh, oh, okay. So, yeah. All right, let's go. What's in this house, though? I'm kind of curious. I can see a Pokemon thingy over there. Oh, can't talk to you? Oh, I have to talk to people with space bar sometimes. Cause oh, never mind. I was clicking the wrong one. Well, Bulbas, you have a Bulbasaur. Gimme, give gimme, give gimme give now. But it always says in the back here, I wish we knew a, of a good trainer to give it to. You should give it to me, you should give it to me, you should give it to me, you should give it. Uh, my favorite um, starter for Gen 1 is actually Charmander, but Bulbasaur is my second favorite. I don't know why I don't like Squirtle, but they're all equally awesome. My son's a gym leader of Palm Breeze Town. If you can beat him and get the badge, you can. Oh, okay, okay, okay. I'll go, I'll go beat your son. I want your Bulbasaur. I'll just go say hi, you know, let him know who his future trainer is. Bulba. I'll name him Bulba. There we go. There we go. I'll name him Bulba. I want Bulbasaur so badly. Uh, see, he, he came here. He, he's coming towards me. Aww. He misses me. Aww. Okay. Well, no, it's okay. He turned away from me because I told him to go away. Yeah. Because, you know, I had to go. Yeah. I, that totally didn't happen. A lot of traders come to Everin from Johto and Kanto. It's because we it's probably because we're right to the west of Johto. I remember that was supposed to be like a girl or something, but Oh sweet, there's a dude. Nido Point Woods is named after Nidoran. I'm not sure why, okay. It does have quite the nice ring to it though. I guess. You know what doesn't have a nice ring to it? Pokemon Obsidian. It doesn't quite roll off your tongue that easily. Try to say it, Pokemon Obsidian. Eh. Oh, there we are. Hey, Pancake, let's... Uh, I forgot the voice I'm doing. Hey, Pancake, let's test our Pokemon out against each other. -na 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 -na. Whoa. Did you see that? That was so cool. Whoa, what the hell? Archaeologist Maxwell. Chargo. Oh, yeah, we have the type advantage. Sweet. -da -da -da. Oh, what? That didn't do anything. And he's using Tail Whip. He's, he's a smart little um, boy. He's gonna use tackle. I know it. Nope, nope, nope. Didn't use tackle. I'll just use tail whip. Yep, I knew that was gonna happen. Uh, tackle, tackle. I mean, at least I'm faster than him. I guess that's good, right? I don't know. My dad better heal my Pokemon after this. Oh yeah, you're gonna die. Wait, no, don't kill me. Don't kill me. Oh, there we go. You die, bro. 69. I should level up. I don't think. Wait, never mind. Oh, yeah! Because it said I need 65. Sweet. Sweet. Play defeated archaeologist Maxwell. I think it's the sounds from black and white, although I'm not sure. $450. Thanks, dude. Well, that was fun. I right, sure am glad you'll be traveling with us now. We're gonna head up to Route 2A. You should run home and let mom know you love her. I would run if I had running shoes. This is so slow. I'm sure it won't hurt to train a little bit on Route 1A a while for a while either. I can't run to my mom if I don't have running shoes. And you didn't even heal my Pokemon. You bastard. Hello and welcome to the Pokemon Center. Would you like to rest your Pokemon? Yes, I would. Do -do -do -do. Sweet. Thank you. Although, I think this was made in diamond and pearl because it didn't have the black and white font, so... By the way, if we're heading to our mom, that means we're going back to the city, and... How am I supposed to go to my mom if the thing, if there's ledges? Well, anyways, if we do head on to the city... Um... 
we're gonna have a chance to talk to some people there, so it's gonna be kind of cool. Oh, I think I'm supposed to this way, right? Yep, there we go. Route one A. Whoa, the ground. What? Okay, okay. First battle. Whoa, center it. Get away from me. Durpole. I guess it won't hurt to train, but I don't really want to do that many. B oh, okay. Defense curl, huh? Smarty pan. Stop using defense curl. No, okay, fine. I'm gonna counter that then. Would you? St Is that your only move? No, I'm running. This guy's just gonna use defense curl all day or day. Uh. I want to see some new Pokemon though. In X and Y, there weren't that many Pokemon actually. I looked at the whole Pokedex. Okay, if this Sentret uses like Defense Curl all day, every day, then I'm gonna like I'm gonna get mad. Oh dang, son, you're actually fighting. Sweet, I like you more than the other one. All right, I like the animation for Scratch. Although I don't know if I'm like complimenting this game and it's like animations that were in previous games, so I don't know. A critical oh you get a crit now okay whatever 32 oh I knew that wasn't enough the music is really nice I it's like it's basically music from other Pokemon games but it's a bit different so and whoa you just, the screen just moved to Pidgey you die today my friend even though I love Pidget you 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 die I'm sorry you evolve into your Pidget guy thing. He's gonna kill me, isn't he? Oh no. Oh no. He got a crit on me. Die die please please yes. And I level up I think we should get which should get me some new XP. Please give me oh yes. Bubble Wait, wait, wait. No oh stop. I like the animations when it's like oh Spiro. I'm actually training a spear. I started playing um, Pokemon Crystal because that's the only generation that I haven't played yet. So I started playing that, and I'm actually training myself a Spearow now. It's not easy. Oh wait, I did have a potion. I forgot. Okay, and I actually want to go and change some stuff because I don't know what you about you guys, but I usually just change up. Um, I'm a very organized person, let's say it like that. And I like to change stuff so the offensive moves are more into the front than the defensive moves. Or the stat changing moves, whatever you want to call them. I shouldn't have done that. Crap. No. No. Oh, never mind. Same stuff over there. And that wasn't the shortest route ever. Please rest our Pokemans, Mom. It's just like your father forget. It's just like your father to forget about talking to me. Well, I got some items together for you to aid on your journey. Running shoes, please, woman. I beg you, give me some running shoes. Give me some running shoes. Potion? No. Give me some running shoes. Ah, uh, give me some running shoes right now. You. Uh, always welcome to rest in your room for a while. I'll go do that actually. But why didn't she give me my running shoes? I want some running shoes. Can I go rest? No, you liar. Anyways, thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to comment, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video of whatever comes up on this channel. Thanks for watching, and watching thanks for.